In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the integrated fill light on the Weeble 3 along with the built-in microphone, and I'm going to show you how to attach extra accessories such as the video transmitter AI and the follow focus motor. Let's get started. The Weeble 3 has a built-in LED light capable of changing color temperature. Simply press and hold the dial to turn on the light. Then you can adjust either the dim or the color temperature by clicking on the dial. It is bright enough to light up a subject up to 5 feet away. Here you can clearly see the changes of color temperature affecting the skin tone. You can also use the included magnetic color filters which snap right onto the LED light. Now let's talk about the built-in microphone. Grab the included microphone cable and connect it to your gimbal. The thinner end will go into the gimbal while the other end will go into your camera. All right, so this is a microphone check. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm about two feet, actually a foot and a half away from the actual uh, built-in gimbal microphone. I think that this microphone is pretty decent for scratch audio and just if you want some ambient sounds uh, for let's say a documentary or something like that, but it's good enough for those purposes. It's definitely handy if you forget your microphone at home because getting those ambient sounds and scratch audio is very important for your films and for basically any other project that you may be shooting. Now let's install the video transmission system. Screw on the base plate onto the bottom of the quick release system. Once screwed on, you can just simply slide on the video transmitter. It's the same one used on previous Zoom and gimbals. Now let's install the follow focus by wrapping around the gear ring on your zoom or follow focus ring. Next, install the follow focus motor support bracket underneath the quick release plate. Now install the follow focus rail to that bracket. And now let's put on the follow focus motor. Make sure that the teeth on the sprocket on the follow focus motor align to the gear ring. Feel free to manually turn the gear ring to make sure that everything is gripping on properly. Now let's connect all of the cables. First attach the video transmitter cable, going from the gimbal directly into the transmitter box. Now connect the camera control cable and HDMI cable going from the transmitter box into your camera. Now grab your connection cable for the follow focus motor and plug it in. And connect the other end into the gimbal control port. Make sure you're using the correct cable. It has a little tag with a follow focus motor on it. With your gimbal turned on, press on the calibrate button on the follow focus motor and it will automatically calibrate the hard stops on the lens. Right above that is a switch for focus or zoom. Make sure it's set to the right setting. Now let's program the finger dial to control the follow focus or zoom control. Go into the menu of your camera and scroll down to wheel. Set it to zoom or focus. Press on the dial to make a selection. Now go to the previous menu, select focus or zoom, depending on how you have it set up, and you can adjust the sensitivity of the dial on the front of the gimbal. You can also program your A and B points and set the finger dial to reverse. Now your gimbal is fully rigged and ready to rock. And that's it for this video. Make sure you check out the other tutorials for this series on the Weeble 3 gimbal.